Kim and Kaber have forever changed the face of victim services in Canada. When Kim came to Pat all those years ago and asked, would you consider placing a dog in a justice role to support victims? We knew the right dog could have, had, could have tremendous impact. We didn't know how it would all work, but we knew life this would be changed. It seemed Kaber broke ground wherever he stepped. His first day on the job, he responded to the school where Laura Zendre was murdered. His very presence entering the room unleashed tears and emotion. It gave the young people grieving their friends space to feel and to process. Kaber was the first justice facility dog in Canada. He responded to victims in emergency rooms, at crime scenes and homes. He supported them during forensic interviews, during testimony, but it didn't end there. He traveled to the sides of families and first responders facing raging forest fires all over North America, sharing knowledge with other groups wanting to start their own program, including the FBI in Washington, D.C. He also responded to the Las Vegas shootings. His remarkable work has inspired over 46 working teams across Canada and a brand new organization, Justice Facility Dogs Canada. But Caber doesn't care about fame or glory. He is simply and completely who he's always been, a loving dog with an extraordinary smile. Perhaps more importantly, and simply, he was the friend someone needed. Happy retirement, big guy, you so deserve this. Caber was an important part of the Delta Police team. He certainly provided unprecedented care to people who had suffered trauma, both within our community and across Canada. We're grateful for that service that he provided, and he's earning a well-earned retirement and enjoying actually just being a pet now. So we wish Caber the very best in his retirement. It has been wonderful working with Caber for the past nine years. Being witness to the extraordinary support that he provided our clients has been a true honor for me. Caber is a remarkable dog and we are so incredibly grateful to Pads for placing him with us. I could tell countless stories about the help that Caber's provided to people and the impact that he has had, but I think it's probably best summed up by the many clients who said that he was exactly what they needed. And I'm also happy to report that Caber is enjoying his retirement. He's doing very well. He's eating as many bananas as he possibly can. And he's enjoying nice long afternoon naps in the sun. Right from the start, couldn't pull us apart. It just works. Nobody else ever gets me as well on this earth Like rock and roll, marshals and tellies Mac and cheese, peep bees and jellies Some things are better together and that's you and me Dude, I love you, bro, I love you, man, I love you You're my brother from another, another mother When we passing the time away Even our fights always end with a smile on our face Like black and white keys on a whirly Sounds just right and we're in harmony Some things are better together and that's you and me Dude, I love you, bro, I love you, man, I love you You're my brother from another, another mother
love you, bro. I love you, man. I love you. Bro, I love you. Love you. You're my homie. No one knows me like you know me. Congratulations for Cable's retirement. This is a poem that Henry has written for you. Cable, you know you are the best, but now it's time to hang up your pants dog vest. Don't worry though, you are full of zest, but in the day you can just rest. When mum gets in, you can eat lots of bananas! <laughs> and Henry wanted to say a huge congratulations on your retirement and we wanted to say a really big thank you. The last two years with you has been so special, hasn't it? It's been it's been so exciting, all the messages and the things that have happened between us. Um, we're very, we're very, very honoured to have such an amazing friend all those miles away from us. Mm. Now, if I said to you, Henry, if you could choose, would you go to... Canada, or would you go to Disneyland? Would you go visit Cabra, or would you go to Disneyland? Which would you choose? Cabra. Cabra, would you? It's, it's not a big decision for you, that, is it? And what we've said many times is where Cabra's concerned, I believe in magic. And we don't know what the future holds, but we send him so much love and best wishes and lots and lots of... Kisses. Kisses. So over and out from Jolly Old England. <laughs>